Hello, my friends, and welcome back to another episode of Grand Theft Auto 4 Pacifist Percent, a challenge where I put the F in pacifist. We continue our story here at the mission No Love Lost. I told Where's you she? where she is. I, I don't you. see why I want it's such you to a keep problem. an eye on her. Hey, She's I'm out making money here. all day. How many like times do I have to tell you? Keep an eye on I the fucking the girl. Gospel, gospel. You're a terrible You superstitious old crone. I'll see you in hell. You... Someday I'll crucify you. Oh, 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 Nico where's Dimitri? <laughs> He's busy. Uh, he said he had something to do. Something. Something. Let me tell you something. Me and this guy, we were in the army together. We were in prison together. We are like brothers. Now it's always something. Always something. Always something. Yes. Yeah. You all right? What? Mr. Fauston? No! I'm fucking angry. I'm sorry to hear that. Let me ask you something. You know her? No. Good. Because if you did, I'd fucking kill you. Why? She's my daughter. Ungrateful bitch. Look at this. Look. Look what I've given her! Yeah, yeah. She's, uh, very lucky to have such a loving father. She is. She's an out-of-control bitch. Because of you, you pathetic mess. But I don't accept my daughter turning into a whore. Nico, she's at Firefly Island. Go there. If she's meeting up with that bike pimp boyfriend, get him. So, obviously this presents a problem for me, because I don't want to kill the poor guy. So I had to do a bit of testing to see what the situation entailed before I made a decision on what I was going to do. You have arrived. Am I property of the lost now? Ha, <laughs> if you were property, then all the brothers would get to share you. I want you all <laughs> to myself. Mm. Get away from Mr. Faustin's daughter. Fuck you! This ain't Russia, and we ain't communists! Shh. Tell my father I can see whoever I like. I'm gonna get the brothers, and we're gonna kick your fucking ass! <laughs> My first idea was just to follow him and see where he ended up. After I chased him for a while, I learned that at some point his friends from his biker game came to back him up so he could stop pissing himself and actually face me head on. Hey, let's mess this commie ass all up. He fuck with me, he fuck with all the lost. Now, while we stand here and watch this man burn alive, I want to point out something. On that ride, these guys struck like three different vehicles and drove right through them like they didn't even exist. So their pathing is very immovable. Let me show you some examples. With that as a mechanic of this mission for some godforsaken reason, that meant I couldn't just knock Jason off of his bike to fist fight him to death. With that in mind, my next idea was to have the cops just deal with it for me. Hello. Hello, this is the LCPD. Where would you like us to send an officer? Willis. An LCPD peacekeeper will be there as soon as possible, sir. I may have mentioned this before, once or twice. But the cops are useless. And I did what any reasonable person would do in this situation. I called the cops. Hello. You're through to the Liberty City. I'm sorry, but all our peacekeepers are currently busy filling quotas and dealing with paperwork. Please call back later. I then learned that the cops are useless. So naturally, I did what any rational person would do, and I called 911. Hello. I'm sorry, but all our peacekeepers are currently busy filling quotas 
with paperwork. Please call back later. And on par with real life, the police are fucking useless. They shot at each other for over 25 minutes, and I even ended up with more stars since I hadn't been subdued by the police for so long. But ultimately, neither of the drug dealers were killed. It seemed that the only people capable of catching rounds and dying here were the police for some reason. I'm sure it goes without saying, but the police were additionally absolutely useless in this situation. Being the responsible law-abiding citizen that I am, I tried calling the police to report a couple of drug dealers. Hello. You're through to the Liberty City of Mer I'm sorry. But all our peacekeepers are currently busy filling quotas and dealing with paperwork. To nobody's surprise, the police are incompetent, so I was on my own with this one. Calling them didn't work, but I didn't want to give up on the idea that maybe they could actually do their job for once in their lives. After the police didn't show up to serve swift justice on a platter like Batman, I decided to run down the street and find one. You know, he should have been responding to the call, but he decided, nah, I'm not doing that. I was going to force him to be a part of this situation. One thing that's also interesting to mention is that while there's a bunch of enemies, only two of them ever seem to follow me out into the street while the other three stay in that grassy area. Do not make me get out of this car! Man, I'm glad I work out. Make me pig. What you're witnessing here is that the police get into a cowering stance when confronted. I spent a long time trying to get the police to kill these guys, and I can say confidently that while the enemies rarely spend much time in cover, the officers spend the vast majority of shootouts cowering in fear. I let this go on for a little while, but then I accidentally ran a little bit too far away, and I failed the mission. I got him in my sights. Fuck these assholes. From here, my plan was to try to get more cops, and also to have the cops closer to the biker, so if I had to run away from getting shot, I wouldn't risk going too far and failing the mission. Luckily, when I was hiding behind this cop car, I accidentally pushed one of the cops over, and that gave me a wanted level, which allowed a steady stream of police officers to continue showing up so I could truly test if they could do any damage to the bikers. After letting these guys shoot it out for about 10 minutes, I wasn't seeing any damage being done to the bikers. It once again seemed like the only people capable of catching any rounds and dying here were the police for some reason. Just like with little Jacob back at the apartment, my man has lost zero HP. So, I was watching a speed run, and this was something really interesting that I saw. And so, I'm thinking this may be useful in trying to get through this mission without having to shoot him. Let me show you and then we'll see what we think. Also this mission ties in with the Lost and Damned. So you're gonna kill Jason now? Spoilers. Yeah. Sorry about that. Yeah, yeah sorry not. No, nobody likes Jason anyway. Yeah. So it's all okay. It's all yeah. okay. So yeah, it's gonna run towards the cab and when you see that text in the bottom, that means that the guy can be killed, like he takes damage. So Okay, so what that means is during that moment as soon as the text comes up right so, yeah. so yeah it's gonna run towards the cab it's like right and when you get to that part of the road so you get to the other side of the road you can damage him so what i'm going to try to do is punch him off of his bike it may not work i'm gonna try it a couple of times but if not i can use this as a way to uh to shoot him off the bike with a pistol if I need to. Now, in case you haven't noticed, I'm clearly a genius. Look at this bell curve graph of IQs. Up here you got Einstein, 160 IQ. Here you got Stephen Hawking's, 169. And then you look all the way over and bam, you got me at 10,000, okay? You don't believe me? Watch me attempt this strat. Okay, here we go. Oh, fuck me, <laughs> <laughs> okay, well... Okay, so you gotta hit this side of the street. Ah, oh, shit. Go, 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 go. Okay. God damn it! Okay. Yeah, this is gonna get a little bit more difficult than I expected it to be. I might be able to stab him off the bike. 
Ah, uh, hmm. So, hang on. So it won't let me lock on to the guy that's on the bike, and if I just... Okay, so if I use mouse and keyboard, then I can just s slash willy-nilly. Am I property? Okay, so let's give this a try. Oh, no. <laughs> God damn it. It's so fucking stupid. I need to get him from this side. I can't just stand in front of him like a fucking moron. <laughs> Oh my god! Okay, all right. Let's let's, let's try that. Motherfuckers! Again. Motherfuckers indeed. God, that's so ridiculous. Okay, here we go. So you need to hit this area, and then you son of a bitch! <laughs> it's not that it can't work. It's just that I'm bad. <laughs> Scroll this. Oh, you bitch! Uh, there, there may not be a way to do this with a knife. Um, yeah, I might just have to shoot him off. You know, I mean, in the speed run, what they do is they, um, they hit him with a. Uh, excuse me, sir. I'm just gonna. Can you just fucking not for like 12 seconds, S sir, 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 sir. <laughs> So what I'm going to try to do is what they do in the speed run, which they do with a shotgun, and I can I can go back over that again because you may have not seen it. Okay, so, but they do it with a shotgun, and so this is going to be challenging because I'm going to have to try to, I could try shooting the tires, but I don't think his bike takes damage. Remember me, motherfucker? Did you miss me, baby? Okay, let's give this a try. So... You got to get to this part, and then... It doesn't lock on him, dude. That's the most painful part. Hmm. I hit him once, but a body shot only takes away one sliver of damage, and I don't know if a pistol headshot's gonna kill him. So, hmm. I'm probably just gonna have to chase him. I'm probably just gonna have to chase him and then shoot him from a car. So there's also a huge problem where like I was trying to uh, to rubber band or I was trying to get in front of him and, and, and make him hit a car like unintentionally. He rubber bands super hard if you start to catch up to him. So you can't get in front of him. It's hard even to get close to him if I'm being honest. Another thing I tested was letting him reach his buddies and then only killing Jason, but unfortunately, once they're part of the picture, you're stuck dealing with them too. So with all that, unfortunately, I ended up having a steel Faust and sports car so I could chase Jason more easily and ended up just shooting him with a pistol from the car before he could reach any of his buddies. With that, we have completed the mission No Love Lost, but unfortunately, we have to add one pistol kill to the total. I've killed the biker. I don't know how happy your daughter will be. I don't care about her happiness. I care about discipline and loyalty. Thank you, Nico. From here, we continue on to the mission Rigged to Blow. Sit down. Thank you. You want some tea? Sure. Mikhail doesn't let me use this anymore. Says it makes us look like barbarians. Uncivilized. Like immigrants. Oh, yeah? I know what you're thinking. It is a bit funny coming from him. <laughs> Life is complicated. I... I never thought I'd live like this. No? When the war came, I did bad things. And after the war, I thought nothing of doing bad things. I killed people, smuggled people, sold people. And you don't worry about your soul? After you walk into a village, 
and you see 50 children, all sitting neatly in a row against the church wall, each with their throats cut and their hands chopped off. You realize that the creature that could do this doesn't have a soul. God is very complicated. You mustn't give up hope. Huh. Well, I don't know about that. Привет, Лена. Привет, Тима. What is that? Ah. Uh... I tell you one thing, and you ignore me. Oh! You stupid oh! bitch. Oh! <laughs> Nicobelic baby. Good to see you. Hey, you too. <sighs> so, what do you want? This prig who owes me money owns a garage in Chase Point. I want you to pick up a truck and take it to him. Call me when you get to the truck. It's in Shotlar on Montauk Avenue. Go. In this mission, you're tasked with taking a truck full of explosives to blow up some guy's garage. Of course, Nico doesn't know it's full of explosives yet. He figures it out once he gets it. Mr. Faustin, I have the truck. Drive it over to the garage on the corner of Guantanamo and Windmill. Park up inside. Sure. What am I delivering? When it's inside, trigger the explosives. You should blow up good. Maybe you'll be careful on the drive over. It's pretty volatile stuff. Explosive? What the fuck? Calculating route. When I got there, I did my damnedest to try to get the pedestrians to move away. But the longer I sat there and honked at them, the more pedestrians and cars showed up. Unsure of how to get them to go away, I went ahead into the garage and blew up the truck to see if they would be spared from the blast radius. Now we're only blowing up the garage, and there's nobody in the garage, so if no civilians die, then it should be fine, right? As a matter of fact, no, it was not fine. But there is an interesting reason to this. As soon as I run into this corner in here. Yeah. Right. So that skips, uh, like, no normally, like, the no way you were intended to do this mission is you drive into the marker and press, like, E, and then Nico hops out the van and then runs into, like, a certain place, and then uh, kind of, like, the cutscene starts. But... You can skip all that if you just have enough damage and then you're like in the general area of the garage and you just get just enough damage so the it triggers the truck to blow up. While that is incredibly interesting, you may be asking how does this help with a pacifist run? I want you to take a look at this image from right before he goes into the garage and hits the wall. There's a pedestrian right there. Now let's look at the moment right after he hits the wall of the garage and is running from the soon to explode building. The pedestrian is gone. What happens when you do it the way that it's intended by parking the truck in there, triggering the bomb, it causes a cutscene to happen, which will always have those pedestrians in that car get hit by the blast. If you damage the vehicle just enough to have it explode by hitting the wall of the garage, you aren't forced into a cutscene which causes three unintended deaths. So yes, this mission can be done without killing anybody, surprisingly, because if you skip the cutscene, it despawns all the peds. Since being despawned isn't the same thing as dying, I call this mission Pacifist Approved. Let me know your thoughts. Nico, it's Roman. I was talking to Brucey. That droid monkey? He is a good friend of mine. He'll be a good friend of yours too if you let him. Anyway, he's got some work and we are in need of money. Meet him at Brucey's Executive Auto on Mohanad in East Coast. If Mallory calls you, we are pulling together. See you later. Before we go on to the mission search and delete, let's hear a word from today's sponsor. For the win, time travel agency. We're hourly. Hey. Uh. Hello. I'm busy. I said hello. Ow! Motherfucker! Is your boss around? What'd you do that for? Is your boss around? Yeah, he's around. 
Brucey, some fucking Polak asshole for you. Pleasure to meet you too. He's not a Polak. He's a gentleman. Still a fucking asshole. Sorry, Nikki, man. How's things? Okay. Sweet. <laughs> I got you, man. I'm big, but I'm also fast. Wake up, boy! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Well, can you show me that again? <laughs> oh! Ah! Oh! Enough, man! Enough! Oh! oh. <laughs> Fuck me, You'll be man. all right, huh? Oh, that's some Red Army shit. Serious. You gotta show me that one. I'm all about power. Come on, touch my backs, man. No, thank you. All right, now, Nikki, listen up. I know you guys need money. Bad. Yeah. This ain't a nice job. Not exactly mom and pop shit. No problem, as long as the pay is good. Sometimes people fuck other people over, okay? And the people that fuck other people need to get fucked with, especially people that go into hiding before they can get on the stand and put a lot of guys inside for a lot of time. What? I need you to whack some people, only they're in hiding. How do I find them? Man, you're cold! You didn't even blink! Love that! I fucking love that! You gotta steal a police car. Get on the computer, give me a call. They're easy to hack. Not really. All right, Brucey. I'll give you a call. Ice cold, man! Ice cold! This may come as a surprise to you, but I have no intention of killing this guy if I can help it. In this mission, you borrow a police car to locate Lyle Revis, which is often easier said than done. What do you know? There's a cop car. Excuse me, guys. I actually need your car. No, 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 no. I don't want to hurt you. I'm gonna fucking die. I'm gonna die. <laughs> How was I supposed to know they locked their car doors? Isn't there a little alleyway here? Yeah, there is. That fails the mission? No, no it doesn't. Okay. Come on, Nico. <laughs> oh, God. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Excuse me. Nope, sorry. Excuse me. I just I'm gonna borrow it. Guys, I'll give it back. Okay. I got out clean. <laughs> One eternity later. I'm here. I have a computer. You're a badass, man. I love it. Now, this cat's name's Lyle Revis. Type it into the computer, and you should get some known whereabouts and shit. I take them out myself, but when people see me coming, they fucking run, man. Know what I'm saying? Cats don't want to mess with someone packing 24-inch guns like mine, baby. Yeah! I'll track down this Revis. Cool, man. I'm feeling chills down the phone. Call me when it's done, bro. And after a mishap or two, I found myself at Lyle's door. Lyle Revis, I got a message from Brucey for you. Brucey? I thought he was fucking joking. Shit! After Lyle runs off, he gets into a car and you're supposed to chase him down and kill him. I followed him for a, quite a while just to see if he actually had like a final destination that he would arrive at, but he didn't seem to. He just drove around. Okay, he's going backwards on the highway. It seems very scripted traffic kind of thing going on here. I don't think he's gonna blow himself up, but I do want to see where he goes. If I just follow him, where, where is he going to end up? Is there a way that I can avoid killing him? What the hell? I don't think truck doors work like that. Oh my god. I assume that the game expects me to be shooting at him right now, but I'm not going to do that. I just, let's just see where he goes. Let's, he might end up running on foot, I guess. I hope. That'd be great, because maybe he'd run in front of a car and get killed by the car. I don't know. Okay, that's going to be a thing. Whatever's going on with that, that's going to... Yep, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. You son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. Come on, you got to stop sooner or later. You're not shaking me, buddy. Where are you going? Where are you going? 
do I stop him? No, stop, stop it. Stop, step it. If I stop him, will he get out of the car? Stop, stop, stop it, stop. You stop it. He's gonna continue to try to go this way. I'm gonna pull him out of the car. Get the, get the fuck over here. No, get back here, you, you son of a bitch. Okay. Okay. Nice. Good job. Good job, man. What are you doing? What are you doing? Stop it. Stop. Stop your car. Nope. Stop your car. Oh, he got out. He got out. Let's see what he does. Okay. All right. I'm just going to chase him until he gets hit by a car and dies. I mean, that would be the preferable outcome to this is I don't even have to kill him. Just the world kills him. So I spent a little bit of time running after him, hoping he would get hit by a car, but it wasn't really working out until I discovered this. Get in the road. You're supposed to drive crazy. You're supposed to drive crazy and hit him. Not get out of the car and run like little babies. Piss baby motherfuckers. I never thought this would be for real. How is he already how is he hurt already? How are you hurt? Bucky Brucey is a psycho. Wait, is it for me bumping into him? No fucking way. Does it try to get me killed? Does it count as me killing him if it's just that I knocked him over a couple of times? I mean, I feel like... Get him, get him, get him, get him! Man, shit. shit. Fucking crazy. Well, okay. So here's what I'll do. I'm gonna knock him over until he's at like one health, right? No, fall over. Fall over. I never thought this would be for real. Well, okay, that didn't take down his health. That did. I'm gonna get him to one health, and then he's going to be so weak that anything that happens to him, I'm just gonna put him out. Okay. Alright, he's still at two. Crazy. Okay, he's at one he's got one bar of health left. So I never thought this would be for real. Now I'm just banking on his stupidity. And then then I'm good. No kills. Please get hit by a car. Please get hit by a car. Oh <laughs> Fuck yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking amazing. You should not worry about <laughs> Rivas anymore. Lethal, man. A lot of people are going to be very grateful that certain people who fucked with them can't say things to other people or fuck with anyone anymore. If you get me. I get the money you're paying. Oh you're my all about god. The cabbage. I mean, the lettuce, the lettuce. Ice cold, man. I love it. There'll be some more work when you need it. That's, that was brilliant. <laughs> oh my god. It doesn't get better than that. It does not get better than that. Job well done. And with that, we come to the close of another episode. Thank you so much for watching. The support for this series has been amazing and a very welcome surprise. It was super fun working on this challenge with the viewers on Twitch who joined in live and offered suggestions in good company. I plan to do more of that very soon. As we close this episode up, we only added one additional kill with a pistol, which brings our total number of kills to 11 melee kills and 5 people shot with pistols. I'll see you on the next one, my friend.